CloudGuard Container Protection includes a runtime protection module. The protection is based on near real-time monitoring of kernel system calls performed by workload containers. The implementation is based on two engines, one that is based on signatures and another on behavioral profiling. When malicious or anomalous behaviors are detected, security event alerts will be reported in the CloudGuard portal. We've already onboarded a Kubernetes cluster with some deployments up and running, including an application in our cluster of a static page that emulates an online restaurant, which has been crafted in a way that contains vulnerable dependencies that can be exploited. Navigate to the Assets section and select our Kubernetes cluster. Let's look at our protected assets. When we navigate to one of these assets, we can go to the Runtime Protection tab that contains the following information. Whether or not protection is enabled or disabled for the workload, as well as its profiling status and settings. Any workload with a completed behavioral profile will have it shown here, and it enumerates all the processes the workload is allowed to perform. The profiling engine builds this profile of Kubernetes workloads running in a given cluster. Once the profile has been finalized, the agent will stop collecting events and start enforcing anomalies. Every time one of the containers of a given pod group performs an operation that was not observed during the profiling phase, a violation is detected and an alert will be triggered. Users can define exclusions to guide the system to classify false positives as benign. Let's now exploit the vulnerability within the restaurant web page. There is a vulnerable script at the CGI bin menu path served by the Apache web server, and this will trigger remote code execution in the web server, and that will launch a process that is not part of the behavioral profile and generate an alert. Let's now check the alerts generated for this deployment. If you want to see alerts for a specific asset, go to the Threat and Security Events tab from the Asset View. But if you want to see all alerts generated by the Runtime Protection Module, apply these filters in the Events section. We investigate which asset was compromised, when the malicious activity was detected, and all the details of what happened. In this case, a process event alert means that an anomalous process was executed. We can also see the process call stack info, which gives us a hint at what application could have been compromised or how the attacker gained access into the system. The other type of alert we can see is the malicious behavior signature event, which is triggered by the signature engine. The information is quite similar. However, in this case, we get information on what signature triggered the alert. CloudGuard's container runtime protection offers valuable real-time monitoring and alerting on your containers.